Hello everyone, Dates here, back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at Z23 version 8 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So first of all, I would like just to say that uh, I've just moved in to a new place and I still uh, haven't set it up anything, so that's why I'm recording uh, with AZ screen recorder and not uh, with a regular camera. So first of all, I would like to say sorry about this. So now let's go into the ROM. So when we go to about phone, you can see that over here we have um, Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience version 8.1 and the 1st of August Android security patch. It also comes with pre-installed Moro kernel version 2, but I've uh, put it uh, 1.9 because uh, this is uh, just something that uh, I do and I uh, still don't have any uh, views on uh, 2.0. So that's why I'm going to compare battery with uh, this kernel because I've used it on others. So uh, to start off with the change walk, if you want uh, just uh, to see the change walk, uh, this is it over here. Let me just go to SAC23. And uh, if you want to take um, a faster look of the change walk, this is uh, it. Of course, uh, right now I'm going to go uh, through uh, almost all of those options over here. But if you're here just for the change walk, uh, this is it. So first of all, we have uh, the uh, applications. So you can see right now I'll uninstall uh, Facebook. And uh, when I go to uh, the Play Store and uh, if I go and search for Facebook and uh, if I download it, you will uh, see how it will ask me whether I want to set up a second account. So this is a, a Notate feature that has been ported over here. So the next thing is that they have fixed notification walk when there are uh, a lot of notifications. So for example, when you have six or seven notifications, uh, previously there was walk, but uh, right now Everything is uh, nice and smooth. I don't know how you see it, but when the uh, AZ screen recorder is off, everything is uh, working perfectly. So they have a fixed battery drain issue and uh, uh, put a Moro kernel 2.0, which is something that uh, I already said. When you go to the ROM control application, which uh, I'm going to search right now, the next thing that has been changed is that uh, uh, there has been added uh, key white duration over here so you can see this is set to be uh, added but i think it was here before next thing when you go to settings display right now there is outdoor mode so you can see what it does this has been added also find mobile something really big has been uh, made to work so right now i'm going to show you that uh, it is uh, working perfectly fine so you can see i'm on my laptop and uh, when i click over here I've put it my ID and the password. You will see that um, it is uh, working. So let me just do this. And you can see that it has uh, found my device. So this is uh, something uh, that is uh, really cool. So the next thing you can see that it just said that device location has been found. So the next thing is, um, let's see, added S7 stock camera so you can choose whether you want stock S7 camera, S8 camera or Note 8 camera when you're installing the ROM you have those three um, options also you have multi-user support and um, let's go to the next one removed S Pen non-working items which were translate, smart select, glance and magnify so I just installed Facebook, but I don't see the option, which is something uh, really strange. So let me just try and find this one. So I think it was into advanced features. So, um, oh yeah, here it is, Duo Messenger. So you can see you can use two separate accounts for the same applications. So I knew it was somewhere in settings. So let's enable this for Facebook. And you can see a second icon for Facebook will appear on your home screen. So also the next thing is that they have removed uh, S Pen settings for users who will not choose this into a ROM installer during installation of the ROM. So right now you can see probably I will have to let me just that touch with. So I think that AZ screen recorder is just setting up my phone pretty waggy right now. So you can see that there is a second account over here, so you can choose uh, to have two accounts for the same application, which is something really nice. They have fixed Gear VR, no S8 camera and S8 camera, pin walk issues when you choose system uh, stock UI. Um, when you put in your password, it will straighten walk. 
they have uh, fixed the uh, great out uh, nav bar and uh, the show height button issue uh, something really cool in this room is when you go to developer options and uh, you go over here you can choose a custom value for animation so you can see on other rooms you have off 0.51 and the other one are the same but over here you can see we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 6, 7, 8 and 9 which is something really cool because for me personally 0.5 is really fast and 1 is kind of small and uh, for me 0 0.7, 0 0.8 is the perfect uh, timing uh, for the animation duration which is something uh, really nice also non-working college collage I don't know how to really pronounce that mode has been removed and they have added S note to system applications but I have removed this one just because I have Samsung notes and I don't see why I should have an S note but uh, this uh, is added uh, for the air command and the last option is they have added an option to choose stock touch with launcher in aroma and uh, a custom one so this is something really cool so far this room has been uh, very stable um, it, is, it has been uh, really responsive you can see that for 7 hours almost I have 1 hour and 50 minutes of screen on time with 64% left and over here you can see I have charged up a little bit and uh, so far it's been uh, really stable everything has been uh, working uh, smoothly I don't know how you see it uh, after AZ screen recorder for me it's a kind of choppy but uh, it's a really nice working uh, actually so um, basically this is it guys uh, everything is normal with this ROM of course right now this is the most customizable ROM and uh, you can see how much things you have over here as quick shortcuts and you have in a, even private mode and nearby which is something really cool you have vo voiceover, LTE and Wi-Fi calling if you're using those two over here and over here so if you have any questions be sure to leave them down below Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.